Have you had pranks go awry or maybe it's or you're in it and it's not happening the way you want it to go? The, yeah, that's all. That's every day. That's, that's every, every time day. you shoot a prank. Yeah. Um, going awry means different things to different people. So going awry. <laughs> no, going awry I'm, can be great. Yeah. Going awry. Is, yeah. I'm in the going awry business. Mm -hmm. uh, but it not um, getting anywhere. The prank being a dud happens constantly. You have to shoot so much more than actually airs. I think Bad Trip, probably we shot. You're, the final movie, you're only seeing like 30% of the stuff we shot. Right, right. Like that. Well, that proves my the thing I've been saying forever, which is to me um, most, and it doesn't just apply to comedy, but when you see something that you really like, it's all about what you didn't show. Because I do think there are people that would look at your stuff and think, yeah, that just, anytime you go out and do anything, it's all going to be magic all the time. No. 90% of it is unwatchable. Garbage. Trash. Jesus, take it easy, man. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you still have those pills? Are they handy? Can you get to them? I, crash them up. I snort Zoloft. Don't snort Zoloft. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how it works. No, in a few weeks, it's going to kick in, man. <laughs> I wish that you would get on a, a mood stabilizer so powerful that it, it was a giant pill and like a horse, they had to put it in a tube and blow it into your mouth. Why? Why do you want that for me? Because it would it would just be funny for me. You're like, it's time. It's time, Eric. And you're like, oh, shit. And you open your mouth and they come in with a big tube and they get a veterinarian to do it. <sighs> Or else they have a dart gun that they and they chase you with it, and you're trying to get away. <laughs> get him in the carotid, like I'm Harambe or something. Yeah. <laughs> I got a three year old in my hand, whipping him around. Ah! Yeah, I'm with it. Uh -huh. I'm okay with that. So, I wish drinking was good for you. I, I wish it would be great. Oh, it would solve all my problems. It was feel rich with vitamins and antioxidants. Yeah, turns out ethanol is poison yes <laughs> it's concentrated poison i'm like Ugh. yeah that's yeah. a problem yeah i also wish uh regular exercise shortened your life <laughs> <laughs> yes i wish exercise shortened your life drinking alcohol you imagine going to the vitamin. doctor and he's like mm, what are you even doing <laughs> well i jog i also do weights three day times a week and i try and get my heart rate up at least six times a week okay we got to stop that now <laughs> like, are yep. you are you drinking <laughs> well water oh god no, 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 no. Sugary, fruity rum drinks. You need to drink so many of them that when you wake up in the morning, you wish you were dead. You wish that you were dead. He's got a pina colada machine behind yeah. him. <laughs> You're going to need this. Back in the day, doctors would smoke cigarettes in yes, the of office. Course. Yeah, while they were talking to you about your lung x-ray. That's insane. You know what's crazy, though? There are these people like... Um, like Winston Churchill, obviously an example of that guy. That health nut? The, the, he he hated vegetarians. He called them oh. bean eaters. <laughs> Those bean eaters. And and uh but um uh he he ate and he drank constantly. Yeah. yeah. And um, which all he all he'd eat was like roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. And, and he's 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 drinking and he's power smoking cigars all day long. Mm -hmm dies at like 94 are you serious <laughs> yeah, he lived a really long time it's not fair and all these friends of his around him were you know uh saying winston please get a hold of yourself man and uh my one of my favorite quotes is peter o'toole one of the greatest uh you know uh, actors of all time uh late in life um they said, what are you doing now that you've retired like sir o'toole because mm -hmm. he's made a you know he's knighted mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he said, they said, what are you up to these days? Because you're, you're acting less. What are you doing? And he said, how do you spend your time? And he said, I, uh, I attend the funerals of friends of mine who took exercise. <laughs> <laughs> He's a legendary drinker. Just drank his way through the 60s. and Like all those guys. So. But, and George Burns cigars till he was like 101 years old. Yeah. So what does that mean? Is it all genetics? Is it just a genetic crapshoot? Yeah, they do. Or should I start doing HGH now and all crazy? You should. Dwayne the Rock Johnson kind of drugs. I should. Um, oh, that's a myth. It's all pure <laughs> with Dwayne. Um. He's 75 years old. And he's <laughs> no, what, what, what do I do? Well, uh, all joking aside, I do think... 
it's been shown that the uh, that the cigarette thing is probably a gene, meaning there are people genetically. They don't. They haven't. I don't think they've isolated that gene, but there are people who can smoke, and they are much less, 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 less likely to get any kind of lung cancer. My guess is that Keith Richards is like one of those people. You know, it's insane to inhale the combustion of tobacco. Yeah, steadily, steadily since for you know since 1957. I think Keith Richards started smoking in the crib, and then, <laughs> uh, and then, and then, yeah. But he. But what about all the drinking? Winston Churchill was like, he was like Jack Kerouac. He was like glug 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 glug. That's another thing too, where I think he was t- drinking throughout the day, but not. Uh, no, I don't. He was not Jack Kerouac. He was not a blackout drunk. He was not drinking and um, like that. He was drinking in a different way. He was drinking in this sophisticated English imperialist way. <laughs> <laughs> he was drinking it's five o'clock somewhere is his quote he was drink gin like all day wasn't he i don't but i don't think he was i don't think it was glug 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 drinking that's all i'm saying is and, and i also think it helps when you're an imperial power <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when, when when you're you know colonialists uh, they're just uh there's something about you're that a, system that, that yeah, preserves yeah, the uh yeah. the organs <laughs> it doesn't make any sense no everything i'm saying so should i take over a country Yes. Should I take over like a small Caribbean island, make a monocrop? Yes. And system? if you um, if you exploit their resources for yeah. your good, cobalt. And, yeah, exactly. And then underpay them. Yeah. Um, you can drink all you want. Oh. And you'll live forever. <laughs> hey, all <Yes>. right. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way this is going. I've, I'm off to you, Papua New Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> you are an essentially good person, but I keep convincing you to get a hedge fund. Yeah. Uh, or whatever, Be a slum lord. Become a slum lord. Uh, yeah. Eat and, expired Zoloft. Yeah. And then colonize other countries <laughs> yeah. for your own good. All right. If that's all you take out yeah. of this thing. 